Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, speaking about someone who's telling over Lashon Hara, and he has nemanis, he has believability, can betray like two people. Even there, the Chavetz Chaim is cautioning, you have to be so careful when exactly you'd be allowed to believe what he has to say. And the listener is also also forbidden to view Shimon in a negative light because of Ruvin's account. Remember, Ruvin said over not good things about Shimon, and really Ruvin is someone that could be neman could be could be believed like two people. Nevertheless, I, the one that is listening. I'm not allowed to view Shimon, who is being spoken about, in a negative light. Like I mentioned above, says the Chavaz Chaim. Besides transgressing the prohibition of accepting the words of Lash and Hara, if he does listen, the listener is also transgressing the prohibition of Lif Ne'ivir, in front of a blind person, you can't put a stumbling block. What's the stumbling block over here? So too, there's many other positive and negative commandments that we explained above in the introduction many months ago already. Since that the speaker himself certainly is violating the prohibition of Lashon Hara, like all the halachic authorities ex- explain, the Lashon Hara who feel al emes Lashon Hara is even on something that is true. And by listening to the Lashon Hara that Ruvain is speaking, which is Aser, so Ruvain, uh, so therefore, it Ruvain speaking Lashon Hara has caused the person who is listening to be over on the prohibition of, of, of listening to Lashon Hara. The Elo Lehaya writes in the Shema Mita, because if he would have refused to listen to the Lashon Hara Ruven, then his friend Ruven, oh, that's what he's saying over here, that the since that Ruven is speaking Lashon Hara, even though that is true, it's still Lashon Hara, if I wouldn't be sitting here listening to him speak Lashon Hara, says the Chavetz Chaim, then Reuven would never transgress the prohibition. But since that I'm listening, my listening itself is causing Reuven to be over to transgress the prohibition of Lashon Hara. So I now become the listener, part and parcel, in this sin of Lashon Hara. And the more that the listener accepts the words of Reuven, which he was saying Lashon Hara, V'yei Ahane Maisov, so the more powerful Reuven's actions are, and that's a problem, Yei Yoyse Geru Lamekavu Gam Kein, so the listener, his transgression is, is much worse as well, Shal Yodai Ba Chavir Le'isar Golo Kizet, because through his listening, Reuven now is a worse speaker of Lashon Hara, if Reuven's speaking Lashon Hara to a wall, or to a person who's not listening to him, or doesn't really care what he has to say, so then it's a very minimal uh, damage of Lashon Hara that's being said. But if I, the listener, am listening intently and I'm macabre, I accept what he says is true, so then I'm giving fuel to the fires of, of Ruvain's activities over here of speaking Lashon Hara, and I'm accepting the Lashon Hara, so I'm making everything into a terrible aver over here, that had I not listened, or if I would not have accepted it, there would be no real isser of your prohibition of Lashon being spoken or accepted. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.